Are you an independent contractor? Have you been working for the same employer for at least two years? And have you gone into your local bank or credit union to apply for a traditional home loan and been denied because you didn't show enough income on your tax returns? Does that sound familiar? If it does, just know that you're not alone. There are millions of people in the same boat as you right now trying to get a home loan. I'm Derek Bisson, and my office works with clients just like you. The type of loan program that you're looking for is called a 1099 income program. In this video, we're going to cover the following topics to quickly get you up to speed and familiarize with this type of loan. First, we'll answer the question, why a traditional home loan may not be working for you. Next, we'll cover how the 1099 income program works, the features and benefits, and then finally, the items needed to qualify for this type of loan. Let's get started. Okay, so here's why the traditional home loan may not be working in your favor right now. You see, as an independent contractor, you don't have any taxes, FICA, Medicare, et cetera, withheld from your paycheck. You get the straight check and then it's up to you at the end of the year or quarterly, whichever works best for you, of course, uh, to file your income tax returns. Now, depending upon how aggressive you are with your tax strategy, perhaps you consult with a tax advisor who helps minimize the tax burden by maximizing the US tax code, which is all perfectly legal. But at the end of the day, you show very little income uh, that you pay taxes on on your tax return, which let's face it, is an amazing life until you go to apply for a home loan and all of a sudden you wind up with what I like to call the paradox of being self-employed in America. So the US government gives you a tool that can either help or harm you. And most people don't know about the harm part of that until they go to apply for a home loan. So what you need is a loan program designed specifically for your income, and that's our 1099 income program. So here's how the 1099 loan program works. The 1099 loan program works pretty much like every other loan you may have encountered, except for one key difference. And that's how the lender, that's us, calculates your income. So instead of using the traditional loan approach with tax returns, we won't look at the tax returns. We'll simply use the income on your 1099s. So here's the basic formula. We have two ways to count income. We can either use the most recent two years of your 1099s or simply the most recent year's 1099. Let's look at the two year look back option. First, we'll average the income from your most two recent years of 1099s. So essentially we'll add them together and then divide by 24. Next, we'll reach out to your employer to verify that you've been working there at least 24 months and also to get a written verification that you have no job related expenses. And then finally, we'll ask you for your bank statements where your payroll is deposited. And this is to make sure that your income is still on track to meet or exceed your previous year or years. If the last step looks good, then we simply use the income from your 1099s as the income qualification component of your new loan. By the way, if we're going by the one year 1099 option, simply go back to step one, use the income from the most recent year's 1099, divide by 12 months instead of 24, and then verify steps two and three in the same way. So now that we've covered the concept, let's look at an example. So this is Mary, she's a nurse. She's been on her job for at least three years. Last year, she made $85,000, and the previous year, she made $75,000. In total, she's made $160,000 over the last two years. So if we divide that figure by 24 months, we would arrive at $6,666.67 in total usable income for her loan application. We confirmed with her employer that she has no job-related expenses, and her payroll deposits in her bank statements verify that she's on target to hit the same amount of income this year. Now let's cover the features and benefits. First off is the income calculation method. This is the secret sauce that makes the loan work. Again, we are looking at the percentage of your average payroll deposits for the most recent 12 to 24 months. This loan can be used to purchase a primary residence, a second or vacation home, or an investment property. The minimum down payment for this loan is 10% and requires a minimum FICO score of 660 or higher. Although we will go down with a higher down payment down to 620. There is no 
PMI on this mortgage, regardless of whether you're putting less or more than 20%. These are 30 year fixed rate terms. There are no prepayment penalties as long as it's for a primary residence or a second home. And of course, this loan can safely be refinanced whenever you qualify for a more traditional home loan, if you like. Gift funds can be used from a family member. Just note that the applicant must have a minimum amount of their own funds equal to 5% of the purchase price for the down payment and then three to six months worth of your new monthly payment left over after closing for the reserves. Be sure to consult your, with your loan originator about that. You can receive interested party contributions. These are credits from sellers, builders, or perhaps a realtor. Interested party contributions can be used up to 6% of the purchase price for your closing cost for primary residences. And it's for an investment home, the maximum you can receive is 2%. Prior derogatory credit events, such as a bankruptcy, foreclosure, or short sale can be accepted on a case-by-case -case basis. Although this might affect the loan in some way, shape, or form. So if this does apply to you, just be sure to consult your loan originator upfront so we can help you navigate this. Eligible properties include single family homes, townhomes or villas, two to four unit multifamily homes, condominiums, and even non-warrantable condominiums. And these are subject to only a limited condo review, not the current industry standard of a full condominium review, which makes the process a lot easier for condominiums. The loan size can range from 100,000 up to $3 million. Now the minimum credit score for this type of loan the primary wage earner on the application must have a 620 to a 659 middle score, and that will get you a 20% minimum down payment. Or if your score is over 660, then you can have a minimum down payment of 10%. Note, if there are two applicants, we use the score for the primary wage earner. However, all applicants must at least have a 620 middle score or greater. And now let's cover the information you need to see if you're eligible and to get pre-approved. Now, this is not a complete list, but rather these are the items that you must absolutely have in order to qualify for this type of loan. Let's review them together. First, we need a loan application. That's pretty straightforward. You can do that straight on our website, which is unconventionallending.com and hit the get pre-approved button. You need a middle FICO score of 620 or higher. And if it's 660 or higher, then you can qualify for a down payment for as little as 10% of the purchase price. We'll need your 1099s for the most recent two years. And a special note on this, these must be true 1099s only. So we can accept a 1099 miscellaneous or a 1099 NEC only. We cannot unfortunately use alternative versions of these such as the 1099K, 1099R, etc. But don't worry, if these apply to you then, you can still qualify for a different type of loan program called a bank statement loan program. And I'll include a link in the description below for that program. Your employer must be willing to provide a letter on their letterhead that you have worked there for at least 24 months and that you have no job related expenses. We'll need your bank statements for the current calendar year for the account where your payroll is being deposited. And that's it. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you'd like even more information about the 1099 program, head over to the link in the description below for our 1099 program resource page. You're going to find a lot of great information over there. And if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you and hit that like button, hit that bell so you'll be informed when new content is uh, arriving on the channel. And remember, just because a bank or credit union told you, you no, know, it's not the end of it. Stop letting these banks and credit unions tell you know when we have more reasons to say yes. And if you're looking to purchase, refinance, or get pre-approved to purchase a home anywhere in the state of Florida, we would love the opportunity to assist you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Derek Bisson, and this is Unconventional Lending.